What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another marathon prep video. Today's date is November the 16th. It's five days out from my very first marathon guys. Um, these are the streets. These are the streets that I'm going to be running in preparation. In my week's preparation. Um, I don't know if uh, I've bitten off more than I can chew but I'm, I can happily say guys that I've recovered relatively well from my 20 kilometer test run that I did two days ago. So at seven days out, I found myself having done very minimal training for my very first marathon. I thought, there's no way, you know, regardless of how fit I feel like I am, I've got a decent base of fitness, I suppose, but you know, regardless of how fit I feel like I am, I'm never gonna turn up on race day and expect to be able to smash 42 kilometers without doing any preparation. So this week is all about just <clears throat> Getting the feet moving, you know, getting the uh, the lungs going, so to speak, and testing myself, you know what I mean? Slowly but surely, tapering to the to the day of, of the race. So, today is uh, the second day of training in that week, and I'm looking forward to it. Today, I'm not exactly sure what, you know, what I guess what the best strategy would be. But what I do want to do today is get out there once again for a decent amount of time. So in the previous run we did, two days ago I did 20 kilometers in a PB, which is a fucking fantastic surprise for me, um, which means we're on the right track, uh, which means that I might actually, you know, end up, uh, you know, finishing this marathon, which is a massive goal. I guess the, the major goal of this, this thing is, is to finish my very first marathon. It's not only just to do it, okay, it's to finish. And I'd love to finish without stopping too many times. So what I'm going to focus on today is just to keep going. I went out there for an hour and 50 minutes in the last run. I want to I want to extend that. I do want to get out there for, for more than two hours. So as long as I'm out on the road this morning for two hours or more without stopping, I'll be happy. I do want to uh, continue trying to maintain a certain pace. I do not want my pace to go under six minutes per K because at the end of the day, a 42 kilometer you know, race at six minutes per K is four hours and 12 minutes. And with that in mind, my major goal, you know, not only to finish this race, I'd be lying if I, did, if I said that was my only goal, because it's not. My major goal is to finish this marathon, my very first marathon, with minimal training in under four hours. So what that means is yes, I'm gonna have to keep my pace under six minutes, at the very least, for 42 straight kilometers. So today, guys, I want to go out there I want to run for two hours at a pace of six minutes per K or less just to get some time under the belt, some more time on the streets, uh, more time in my new pair of shoes, which I'm still, you know, going to be uh, wearing in this week. Um, but I, yeah, I was pretty pleased with how they went last time. I literally, it was the first time I tried them on, I hadn't worn them in whatsoever, put some, you know, fresh pair of socks on, new shoes, went out, ran 20Ks, no blisters, I'm happy. You know what I mean? Things are going good. So, here we are. In Christchurch, New Zealand. I will be uh, checking in with you guys after I get back. And this will be five days out, officially, from my very first marathon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys after the run to discuss how we went. I have no idea how it's going to go. <laughs> but what I do know is that I need to charge my headphones. So I'll see you soon. Alright you guys. Now. In the last video, I had salt all over my face. I still haven't had a shower since the run this morning. But I don't think there's any salt in my face, which is a, a, a pleasant surprise. Um, we did it. In fact, I did more than I anticipated. I pushed myself. I hit a wall today that I have not experienced before. I feel like it's because I didn't give my body enough time to recover from my last run, which I did at seven days out. Today's five days out from my very first marathon. In a previous clip I feel, um, which was about six, seven, maybe eight hours ago now, it's, uh, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, 
and I've done 25,000 steps and I've burnt 3,771 calories. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about my performance and how the, the, the second test run and my very first, I'm happy to report, half marathon ran in under two hours. So I not only stuck to a six minute per K pace, which was the goal, but I was able to bring that down by six minutes, um, effectively, at least, and was able to sneak in that, that, that 21st kilometer in the two hour mark. So I was absolutely stoked with that. But to do that, I really did have to push through mentally and physically at multiple points. And it's, it, it's really interesting, you know, these, these, these long distance runs, they, they test you both physically and mentally. You go through different stages of the race, effectively, or of the run. You know, it's a two hour, non-stop event and mentally you know a two-hour event doesn't matter how how slow or how fast you're running is going to be taxing and that's how i felt today but i've got to do double that okay so that's that that uh that thought in the back of my mind actually helped me push through and think that you know if i'm going to do double this this really shouldn't be that hard and so without further ado let me bring up my strava results once again if anyone does want to follow me i feel like my username is Jacob McDonald, and I will have a link down in the description box for anyone that does want to follow along. But yeah, even just looking at the map, okay, it was a journey. It was a journey and a half, and it was mixed terrain. So today's run, I specifically took on mixed terrain if I did see it, rather than staying on pavement the whole time, because I don't exactly know what the track's going to be like for the Queenstown Marathon, although I do think it is all tarmac, although I wouldn't be surprised if it's not. So today we literally probably did over half of the event on either gravel, grass, dirt, or something that's just not flat concrete. So with all that in mind, I guess I'm pretty pleased. I did my very first half marathon in under two hours. So the, 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 the question remains, the question, the question remains guys, a lot of people ask this, can you do a half marathon with no training? And effectively, I can. Okay, 21.01 kilometers. An average pace of 5.38 per K. A total moving time of 1 hour 58 minutes and 29 seconds. And the elevation was minimal. Although there were parts where it went up and then it went down. And like I said, it was mixed terrain. It wasn't the easiest race. I, pr I probably could have, I definitely could have ran faster. With the same amount of effort if I was on a flat surface. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about exactly what happened as openly, as honest, and as transparent as possible, because that's what we do on this channel. So, my best efforts, I got three second best, or second fastest times, in three different uh, distances, long distance distances. One with a 20k in an hour, 52 minutes, and 42 seconds. Um, I don't know if that was the first 20ks, or the last 20. I don't know if they excluded the first K of the race or the last K of the race, but any mathematicians out there can probably work it out. And then we get on to the, the really interesting part, which is the pace. So I went out, obviously, with that goal of sticking at six minutes per K. I wanted to do 20 kilometers without jacking my heart rate up too much in two hours. I wanted to do two hours of road work and, and, and at, at least cover 20 kilometers. Now, I made a point of looking at my heart rate probably you know, a good 10, 15, maybe even 20 times throughout this, this, um, this run. And my heart rate did not go below 148 and it did not go above 161 the whole entire time. So I was really steady at these, you know, early paces, which felt relatively easy around 530, you know, 540, um, 520 even. And it took until I got to about kilometer 15 for me to actually start feeling fatigued and my legs started feeling quite heavy. Um, my, you know, I could feel my heart rate going up and it was at that point at about kilometer 15 after having gone quite, you know, relatively steady, but, but, but hard, um, that my heart rate started to jack up and I actually felt it. So I looked down and I was at, you know, 161 and I thought, shit, I've been at 150 this whole time. I, you know, I'm, I'm hitting that wall, I guess. My heart rate's jacking up, I'm gonna to have to bring it back for a bit, get my heart rate back down. I brought it back down to about 145, and then I actually struggled for a bit to, to get my pace back. So I stuck from, from K15 
to 18 at around about six minutes per K. And I'm, I'm thinking that I'm running a bit faster than that. And then I cross the kilometer line and you know get the notification in my ear that I've ran a six minute K. And I thought, okay, interesting. My body's going through things that I haven't felt before, but you know, I fueled myself well the night before. I did not have any fuel this morning, which is something that, you know, if I'm gonna do an early morning run, which I did this morning, I'd only been up for an hour. I had a cup of coffee and, you know, a liter of water and then I left which is not a lot but I did have a decent amount of carbohydrates the night before so I'm not sure how I'm gonna fuel myself on the day I feel like I'm definitely gonna to need to take in some into you know into race carbohydrates which I haven't needed to do before I've never taken in any carbohydrates in a long distance run you know throughout it I've always just you know taken in enough water or enough hydration left my bottle at home you know left everything at home and set out on the streets and, and that's pretty much what I did today so I was able to bring it back thankfully uh, in the 19th K we did 551 in the 20th K we did 544 and then you know I was basically left with the last kilometer if I wanted to get you know if I wanted to get a time under two hours for 21 K's for the half marathon I needed to run six minutes and I was feeling okay I tried to get a four minute K for that last one and I just simply could not do it. I did not have the energy. In the run that I did two days ago, I did have the energy, I had fresh legs, I had a fresh mental uh, mindset and that's something I'm gonna discuss um, at the end here. But I was a lot fresher in that run and I was able to push for a 4.36 final kilometer, which I am proud of. It meant that we did finish it in 158.29 for 21.01 Ks. What I'm going to talk about now is, is mindset. So I'm going to need to be in the same position I was two days ago at seven days out before that run because I literally finished that and thought that I could do another one. So I need to be physically and mentally in that same shape, which is going to take me to taper down the workload from here. So I've done two 20 kilometer relatively, you know, race pace, I suppose, at race pace, definitely at race pace. If I'm going to want to run a four hour marathon, these two runs have been pretty much at race pace, which I'm stoked about. It's really set myself up for a good run into this, this, this race, I feel. So I'm going to taper down the work. I'm going to see you guys again at day number three. I'm not going to run tomorrow. I'm going to go to the gym instead uh, because I haven't gone for about two weeks. I've been putting all of my time and effort into my YouTube channel, which has taken away time from my lifting and running. So that's why... I simply had to start this series. I had to get myself back off that couch, out onto the street again, and to see just how much fitness I was able to retain, which seems like I've you know, been able to retain a decent amount. So who knows what's gonna happen on race day. I feel like, I do feel like the, the event, you know, people being everywhere, I feel like I'm gonna feed off of that. I feel like I am gonna be filled with adrenaline, at least for the first half. Um, I do feel like at 30 Ks, anyone's gonna struggle. So for those last 10 or last 12 Ks, it's gonna be tough, but that is the time that I, I enjoy actually, funnily enough, in a funny kind of way, in a sadistic kind of way, that's the shit that I enjoy. And that's, you know, you've got to enjoy the pain at, at some point. You have to enjoy the, you have to, well, not so much enjoy the pain, but you have to endure it. And you have to know the reward that comes at the end of setting a goal you know a pretty a pretty hard goal pushing through at times and achieving it which is everything that 2020 has been about for me and this is just you know another thing this is going to be the icing on the cake it's a week before my 30th birthday and i will have completed my very first marathon so guys thank you so much for watching i really really mean it i'll see you in two more days we're running the queenstown marathon if i haven't mentioned it before and i cannot wait so for anyone that is running, please let me know down in the comment section below if you did it. These videos are going to come out post-marathon or post-event, so I don't know when or how or what or why you'd even comment because it is post-marathon. But if you did do it or you do know anyone that did it or you do want to you know, lend a comment of support for me, please do. It's all appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.